invisible YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley and I am the Bookish Stitcher. If you're new here, welcome. I wanted to show you a couple of the new kits that I was going to be starting this week. Um, I'll show you how I go through and kit them up for myself as well as what I keep in what I call my stitchy go bag. So first let me, I'm just gonna open them up for you and we'll take a closer look. Um, but first this is called The Owl in a Hat. Super creative title here. It's Joy Sunday, it's a 14 count. Um, this is what I'm gonna get set up so that I can work on it while I'm on vacation um, in the next week or so. So I'll be showing you updates on that through my Instagram. So here are the colors. I just think it's so funny getting these with like just one strand each on them. I think it's really funny, but I do love these colors. And look at, this, look at the little guy. He looks like he's all like psychedelic. Like, looks like he's seen some stuff here. Um, but I just thought like with the hat, this was a good kit to work on. I'm on vacation and I like to do a smaller kit um, just so that I could probably start and finish this. Um, being that I'm going to be gone for a week, I don't think that's going to be a problem. And there's not quite as much back stitching in it. There's a lot of just like adding some details to the colors and stuff. I also like that with these kits, the picture is bigger than the actual printed piece. Cute. All right, so that is that one. Uh, the next one I'm starting is one that I thought would be fun for us to do a kit from start to finish. So the only time that I'm going to be working on this kit is when I am filming it in a stitch with me. So if you're interested in that um, or joining me in the stitch, I do. I did get this from EIP Cross Stitch. I don't think it has a name listed on it, but let me just get this opened up. Crinkly pen. So this is the picture that came with it. Kathy, so you know I'm down. She is. And this is the piece that comes with it. Um, this is the first time I've gotten a kit that was not by um, either Needle Kung Fu or Joy Sunday. Let me rephrase that. I've gotten other kits from other places. This is the first time I've gotten a kit that I've opened from another place. Alright, this is your printed pattern. It doesn't have the name of this anywhere. So I'm not sure where to direct you from. But it looks like it's 170... Four stitches by 174 stitches. Uh, there's that. Let me super duper easy. There's no back stitch on this one. It's all just full stitch. Um, and it looks like there's 36 total colors. I just think it's gonna be a fun one to do. Oh, awesome. So it's on this like tear resistant paper, and that's fine. But they cut off the instructions on the bottom. It's all crooked. Like they just did it with scissors instead of a paper cutter. Not a fan. Um, here is your usual sheet of instructions. And it's all like pretty nice paper. Oh, I just ripped it. I thought it might be tear resistant, but it's not. So, um, but so it's pretty nice paper. This is what you do. Yada yada. Cool, cool beans. Ooh, this has a lot more pinks than I thought it was going to. I don't. Don't ask me why. I couldn't tell you. But here's our first card. I actually like. I don't work. <laughs> um, I think this is goes up here. <laughs> um, I don't work off of floss cards, but if I was going to, I do prefer these teardrops um, because I can just pull out a piece and stick that in here really easy. I think that's a min minority opinion from what I've heard. Yeah. Here we go. We got some pinks and oranges and tans and me dropping it. Some greens. Here. Right here we have some pinks and some plums. Some more little tans. It's definitely going to be really pretty when it's done. Very 
botanical. Alright, so down here is our canvas. So it looks like it's 11 count. Yeah, it's 11 count. It doesn't say. Does it say on here anywhere? Nope. Um, you got your needles right here on the bottom. I guess it's a 46 by 46. I also like how on the bottom of this it clearly cut off another hair. Um, but this is one of the ones that are not- yeah, it did. Look, those are the squares for it. <laughs> Sorry, this is a train wreck. Um, it's not searched, but it does have that, like, um, goo adhesive. Normally I would take it down to my mother and make her surge it for me, because she's got a sewing machine, and I don't, but, um, it's not gonna be that big of a piece. But, here she is, in all her glory. I don't know what I'm gonna name her yet. I'm thinking I'm gonna name her something like, I don't know, floral related, like, Sunflower. That one's a <sighs> like gardenia. Right, I thought it was really cute. Um, I'm very excited to do it with you all. And I'm like I said, I'm gonna do this from start to finish. So from today, opening it and kitting it up to my first stitches to when it's all done and I wash the canvas. So I think it's gonna be a good time. And if you hold on a second, I'm gonna transfer over to my desk and get this all kit up for you guys. All right, invisible stitchy friends, we are back here. The table, I got lost, so it's a different day. <laughs> um, but let me show you how I'm gonna get these up. I'm just gonna show you guys the owl here, but I have them both here. So first thing, when I am working on kitting up a project, I like to make myself a little note card here. So on here, I'm just gonna put the title on my tab. The owl in a hat. All right, so then I'm gonna do start date. finish date and then this is where I'm gonna put the other details so this is a joy Sunday kit fourteen counts and we have 21 colors that's all wrapped up in here again one colors perfect and then we have 15 by 16 centimeters and we're doing 56 by 60 stitches okay got that squared away and then I grab a job jacket. These I got off of Amazon. I'm going to put in my pattern. And this one I'm gonna put so it faces out. So I can see the whole, cause I can see the whole thing. So. Dun, dun, dun. Staticky. Perfect. And then I'm going to cut off the extra paperwork around the front photo. I'm not worried about it being super straight. Uh, so I can trim it back down later if I want to. Those pieces. 
All right, and I'm just gonna take my sheet here. These I got from Post-it um, a while back. I don't think they sell them anymore, but they do have some other sort of lined tabs. So I'm gonna put it here. When I'm done with my kits, I wanna start doing a scrapbook. So these are gonna be like the tabs um, that are gonna poke out from the sheets. But there's that. I stick this in here as well. All right, and that's gonna be it for that. That's gonna go in my stitchy bag when I am ready. So next thing I'm gonna do is get all of these bobbined. So let me show you what I'm working on with this. So first I have um, a little zipper bag. I always make sure that I keep my scissors in there. Each kit or each bag has one. I got a needle threader and some needles in here. Normally I keep my needle minder as well. If I had a kit that's larger, I do take photos of the key. Let me grab that. So this is from the water lily kit. So I do just kind of grab this and um, take pictures of all the colors and this would stick in here as well, um, as well as um, for my other kits, I use medicine uh, pill jars and I'd stick this in here too. But um, this particular kit is um, what I call my travel kit or my go bag. So I usually have three things set in here at once. All right, and so in here I also have uh, different needle minders for each kit. I have, each one has its own little Oort pill jar. Um, I do at the end, when I'm done with the kit, I take this off and put it in a glass mason jar. Um, but I just like to add them as I am finishing them. Um, back here, this is uh, floss bobbins that I've emptied by working on this kit. So the next one, the owl, I'm gonna put the floss in this section. Gets that. And I'm not sure which needle minder I'm gonna go with with this one yet. Um, I have, I have some options. I have another cat one. Um, these ones are here because these are both cat kits. So this is the eight cats and this is the cats under the sun. So he's not really going to fit the theme of this box, but he's going on vacation with me. So, and so are the rest of these. I just like to bring smaller kits when I'm traveling. Um, so that way I can just pick it up and do it wherever I am. So floss bobbins. Here, let me... Sorry, these little flyaway ends are bugging me. Let's get that back in there. There. All right, so I do prefer to use floss bobbins. Um, versus working directly off the card or using some other sort of um, floss organization like floss drops or those plastic containers. Um, I find this works best for me with having the cats. Um, it's a lot easier to just take out a couple strands, wind it back up, and let it kind of be from there. So I'm gonna take off the two needles that the kit comes with. And I'm just gonna stick them in here for now. I'll add them into that a little bit later. So, sorry, now that I've tangled up all of our threads here. All right, so I bought in bulk some floss bobbins. Um, this was a pack of 100, it's less than that now. I do prefer the clear ones now that they I know that they exist. Don't ask me why. All right. I just make sure that we don't have the sticky one. Got a, a Sharpie and we just number each bobbin with the color on the card. And that's kind of it. Nothing particularly exciting as far as the rest of that goes. So I will get these finished up. And 
and we can go from there. This one's going to be pretty easy. It's only one strand of each color. Hello. Don't eat those, please. No, please. All right, and voila. So I'm all set with this. Got this in here all ready to go for vacation. Go ahead and put my kit in my little job jacket. So it's all set to go. Put all of this stuff in a tote bag and uh, go ahead and take it with me on vacation. So this kit, I'm not going to be doing any stitch alongs with. If you want to see progress of it while I'm on vacation, you'll have to go and uh, follow me on Instagram uh, at the bookish stitcher, and you can see my daily progress on this while I'm working on it. Um, if you like this video, you want to see more stitchy content, please subscribe and like the video, and I will see you again soon. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day full of stitchy things. Bye!